Have you watched much tape yet on Winston Michigan? Have you had a chance to sit down at all and kind of check anything out? No, Sunday we watched the, uh, the game film from Saturday, but we'll start doing that on Tuesday, start game planning, see what they got and what we're going to do against them on Tuesday. How'd the film look from NIU for defense? Defensively, we played pretty well. We were aggressive and flying to the ball, very few missed tackles. We were really happy and uh, we want to just keep getting better, but we're happy with what, what we did on, on film Saturday. Uh, Raypon was out here a few minutes ago talking about how much to play the front four kind of keys what they do and what the secondary does. Um, how big has that been I mean, for you guys to get the, pass, to get the quarterback and the pass rush? Uh, has that been something you've kind of pride yourself on so far this season? Uh, the pass rush or? The take, pass rush, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've really been working on uh, pass rush moves and Coach Johnson's been putting an emphasis on getting to the quarterback this year because uh, even Coach Ash came to the defensive line room on yesterday and told us how important uh, the defensive linemen are to our pass defense. And the only reason we're ranked so high is because of what we do at the front four and getting pressure on the quarterback. And uh, yeah, it really just helps all around to get to the quarterback for the secondary, for all the way to the linebacker to us. Sam, how long did it take you to feel like a defensive end and not just I honestly think it. Uh, I didn't feel like I was actually a defensive end until I got in the game and actually played in uh, against Virginia Tech because uh, you know I never. I was just always wondering what his actual game would be like as a defensive end. I've only seen practice reps, and after I saw those game reps, I realized that uh, you know I did belong where I was. You were a safety in high school, linebacker, and tight end kind of last year. When, yeah. When they said to you, "We think you're going to end up as a defensive end." What did you think of it? What was, do you agree with it? Were you like skeptical? The Cincinnati game last year was when I was done on the offensive side of the ball, and they pretty much told me for good that I'd be going to on defense. I was still in Coach Fickle's room in the linebacker room for the next uh, three or four weeks, but uh, I can't even. Remember. I think it might have been the Maryland game that I was got put. They told me on uh, Tuesday I came in, they're like, you're going to Coach Johnson's room from now on. So I just sat down, s <laughs> sat in the back of the room and just had no idea what he was talking about for the first <laughs> four or five weeks and uh, just kind of observed and picked up the lingo and how the things work in that room. How's your relationship with him now? It's great. It's grown uh, exponentially over the last few months. Going to his house with uh, the de defensive line and those, you know, uh, small unit events that we have to get close to each other. Just He's just such a great guy and someone that I'm really happy to be playing for. Sam, can you give Joey a hard time about the sack totals so far? <laughs> no, I think he's got a little better career stats than me, so I can't say anything <laughs> yet. If someone would have come into high school and said, they, we project you as a defensive end in college, would that have been a tough sell for you? My uh, head coach actually did tell me that my senior year of high school, and I obviously didn't believe him. He's the only one that said that to me, but he uh, he texted me the last week and told me uh, told me that he was right all along and that Coach Marsha <laughs> I think he said somewhere in an interview or something Coach Marsha needs to give him a job because he was right all along. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I think the hardest part was giving up my senior year, not playing my senior year, after being a uh, All American my junior year. Everybody was expecting me to have a big senior year, and you know I love lacrosse and the community. It, it was hard to, you know, leave the guys that I was playing with. That was probably the toughest part is just going to the games and realize what I could have been doing out there on the field but not being able to be out there. They had a pretty good year, but no state championship or anything, which I really. Yeah, I was actually, I was actually in, my head coach was the, gym teacher uh, at Moeller and I was actually in his gym class my soft, my junior year, beginning of my junior year and all the coaches when they come to see to the players they go to the head coach and he the coaches are walking into the gymnasium all the time because he's teaching and Coach Meyer walked in with Kerry Combs and we were all just playing like a normal day of class and uh, he walked in with his leather jacket and everyone was like oh my gosh that's Urban Meyer. And uh, you know, we just—I just didn't really think of anything of it. And he was just watching our uh, gym class go on. And then Coach Runberg called me over to say hello, said hello, and that's where our relationship began. So, so Urban Meyer was in there, and you didn't want to show off.
in dodgeball? Uh, no. I don't believe you. <laughs> I was going a little extra hard, you know. <laughs> you still have sticks? Do you ever pick them up? I still have one uh, lacrosse stick in my apartment, and uh, yeah, it's hard to hard to find somebody to toss with on the football team, but I'm I'm planning on going to a few lacrosse games this year. Any parallels there? The stick skills, hands, anything like that? I think it's just all hand-eye coordination. If you're able to catch a ball this big going 90 miles an hour, you can catch a football or do something else. You filled in for Joey in the Virginia Tech game. What's it like to be out there with Joey now? It's it's crazy because uh, we're at lifting partners all winter, all spring, all summer, and we've just been working together and uh, didn't really think that uh, we'd ever be out there together. We had kind of thought it was like one or the other, and the fact that we're out there working together is it's a good chemistry because we get along great and it's 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 a fun time out there.